We've got the P3. I believe this is very highly um, recommended, great reviews. A little more expensive, but I always like having something that has all the settings I want. It's got different uh, storable settings, so you can make one um, setting, one, or I guess one item I read was you can make one setting for, let's say you've got your tanks full, and what's one setting for when you have your tanks empty, because that can make a difference with your weight um, and your brake gain and the characteristics of towing. So let's unbox this and see what we've got and then we'll throw it. We're towing with a 2006 Dodge Ram. So we open our box. So we've got, it looks like the mount that goes under your dash. Looks like we've got a cradle. Maybe that probably goes like that somehow. We've got a wire harness. Looks like if you're going to wire it yourself. We've got the instruction manual. We've got some screws. We've got another little bracket. We've got some little, little more screws and some wire crimpers. Another instruction manual, warnings it looks like, and wiring harness. So we've got a, a nice little case, branded. Here's the brake controller. I believe this is the manual knob. We've got nice four buttons. Here's our plug in the back. So let me get some, some light. Light on it. Got our plug in the back. You saw the buttons and the, the screen. And then next we've got our Dodge plug and play control harness. So I did check my truck is pre wired. And looks like that's all that's going to be in the box. So we've got. Some notices, some warnings, some install instructions, read this first, yada, yada, yada. Let's make sure that does fit. It does fit. Great. Um, actually, these are nice, nice thick gauge wire and um, very high quality. So. Let's get this put on the truck and I will uh, show you how that goes. Okay, so we're under our dash, so let's start with the wiring harness. So, as we're looking under our dash, I've got it pre-wired. So we're going to look for this blue Let's see if I can maneuver. So we're gonna look for this blue guy right back there. So we're gonna find that, plug it in, and then we're one step further and we'll mount it, and a uh, pretty simple process. Okay, so I've got the camera down there. I'm going to try to get this best I can, but I can't guarantee my hand won't get in the way because there's not really another spot. So, kind of, so we see our blue right about there. We need to plug this wire into it. Kind of a one-handed doodad. Okay, I heard it click. Okay, you see that? We're in. All right. So let's get the actual brake controller and mount it up. Okay, so we don't need this harness because we did the plug and play, so we'll set that aside. These couple directions are for wiring it up. We can set those aside. Set this bag aside. So we really need this, I believe this is a quick mount. Um, yeah, so pops in like that. So this is a quick 
you need to get out of it, or put it away, hide it, something like that, you're not using it, pull it off, you can plug it, put this in this nice case, and then you got this mount that stays on. So I think this is if you wanted to permanently install it, um, which I think we're just going to try this quick mount. Okay, so these look like these pop into those, into that bracket, which then goes, mounts like so. I guess we can get it in there. Goes mount like that, tighten up, good to go. So, just whether we want to use these little guys, well, we'll use these ones to mount it. So, use those ones, we'll bring these. Should be an easy install. Um, let's go out to the truck. So we're gonna mount right here, utilizing this screw. Then I drilled a hole next to it, so we can mount, mount right there. We're gonna utilize the existing screw, just like that. Okay, we're gonna take this, this off, let's do that. And we'll take our bracket, I believe it could be mounted either way, doesn't matter. Let's throw the screw in there, like so. And I did already, uh, before I shot this, uh, look at where to mount it and pre-drill and, and already do it to make it quicker on video. So that's why you see that hole already drilled out. Okay, it's not going anywhere. So we've got this that bracket mounted. Now we're going to mount the quick disconnect bracket on the bracket we just mounted to the truck. So let's get it fitted in. Find the holes. And oh. drop the screw. Step three. Okay, we'll get that one started. This one, got the e-brake in the way, of course. Find your angle before you tighten them up. So we don't want to wear out that system in case we want to change it or Probably adjust this once we actually put the module in to make sure we're not in any room for braking or brake pedal or e-brake. So, okay, so we're good. That was a pretty quick mount. Before I route the cable, let's just plug it in. Make sure, make sure it works. Okay, so we're mounted. We've got no trailer connection. Um, so here's our power, set power. So we've got no trailer, so we can go display, brake type, help. So let's exit out of that. What's this guy? No trailer. We've got here click so this will turn on but I believe there's a timer so when the truck turns off it will turn off I have used a friends which had this same brake controller and his did that and that's one of the reasons why I bought it so let's go look at display and see what brightness color contrast those are all our display so we got high normal low Okay, we've got color, so blue, light blue, green, cayenne, light green, orange, magenta, pink, white. Let's leave it on white. 
Okay, display, contrast, so normal and high. Exit out of that. Brake type, electric, hydraulic. Okay, and we got help. Language, troubleshoot, contact us. So we got our battery voltage, 12.4 volts. Uh, sorry if you haven't been able to see this. Stop light, zero volts. That'd be our brake. That's our brake. Okay. Output voltage. We can manually turn that all the way up. Output current. Nothing because we're not doing anything. Battery voltage. Okay. So that's it. Um, and we've got our max power. So, anyways, that is the brake controller install. I'm going to reroute that wire, but I don't need to show you that. I'll throw some zip ties up there and and uh, call it good. So, anyways, if you liked this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And if you do want to, in fact, help support our channel and do need a brake controller and you want to buy this exact model, I'll throw a link down in the description. Thanks for watching.